Greetings and salutations, Titanium Tim, 18, here in beautiful De Leon Springs, Florida. And I'm here today to introduce you to my humble abode. This is my 2020 Jayco J Flight 34 RSBS travel trailer. And this is where I live. I know I usually do an intro with me in the picture, but trying something different here. I noticed a couple of my subscribers have noticed that I lived in an RV and I've been promised you a review of my RV. So here we go. So this is it, 2020. I've been in about six months, I love it. I'm fortunate enough that my brother lets me stay on his property here once in a while. I'm here or I'm in campgrounds or other friends places. I move around a little bit. So let's take a tour, shall we? As you can see, I have a slide here. There's two more in the back. I have reflectics on the door here because it keeps the sunlight out and keeps the heat out. Down here I have this is a bracket for my TV that I can bring out here. I can plug it in here. I can plug the antenna in here and that way I can watch TV out here when I'd like to. I have another plug here that's 110. I have a nice electric awning as you can see, has built-in LED lights and has outside speakers that go through the stereo system that's inside. Works great. I have stabilizing jacks in the front and in the rear. And this is a front pass-through storage. As you can see, it goes all the way through. And you see those pipes up there, the red and the blue? That's for a washer and dryer hookup that's in the front bedroom of this RV. It's very, very nice, well equipped. We come around to the front here, and as you can see, I have an electric jack in the front. I have two 30 pound propane tanks. Up front here are the electrics for the 12 volt system that go into the coach. And as you can see, I have a rock guard, <laughs> but it's not really a rock guard. It's not diamond plate, it's plastic. Come around here. Oh, I forgot to show you. I got a nice LED light here that's real bright for at night when you're hooking up. It lights up the whole front area. It's very, very nice. Okay, come around here and we've got, that's my slide in the bedroom. This is the other side of the pass-through storage. I'll open it up and show you. You can see it passes through to the other side. A lot of storage in this thing. Here's my labels that tell me my weights and stuff. I can store, I can carry 1,950 pounds and the travel trailer is 9,300 pounds empty. I have a 40 gallon gray tank in the front, which is for the shower and the sink in the bathroom. This is the first slide on this side. And here's my underbed storage. As you can see, there's a lot of storage under there. I don't use as much. I'm gonna start utilizing it more. All these storage units lock. Come over here and I've got my hot water, six gallon quick recovery hot water tank. I've got my water fill, fresh water fill, exhaust for the heater, my 50 amp service, and it is 50 amp service, outside shower, my city water connection and this is a flush connection for the black tank for the tank under the toilet I can hook the hose in here and turn it on and it's got jets that flush out the black tank under here you can see is the connector for the black and the gray tank and I also the black tank is 40 gallons under the toilet I also have a gray tank in the front or actually in the back which is for the kitchen sink nice aluminum wheels and tire nice aluminum wheels 17 inch tires and this is the second slide. As you can see, there's a vent for the, over the stove. There's my refrigerator vents. There's my hookup for my cable. And here is another storage unit. This one's kind of small, but in here I have my jack stands, my extended mirrors, my hitch, and all the accoutrement to tow this thing with. I keep it in here well stored. Come around to the back, and this is the slide for the TV in the living room. Come around here, and you can see I have a nice ladder in the back. 
It is 100% walk-on roof. You can walk on the whole thing. Very, very large up top, spare tire. Stabilizing jacks in the back and the control here is for that. This is the slide in the living room for the recliners and the dinette. Up top, I have a 15,000 BTU air conditioner, which works great and is ducted. So it sends cool air throughout the coach. These stairs are real nice because they're stable. They rest on the ground and you can fold them into the doorway, shut the doors and they're stored well and secure while you're driving. So let's go in, shall you? I go in here. And as you walk in, as you can see, this is the air conditioner heating controller. And this is the controls for all the appliances in here. This is the slide for the living room. This is the awning in and out. This is the slide for the dinette area. Water pump, hot water heater gas, hot water heater electric. This is my battery tester, my fresh water, my black tank, gray one and gray two. So I can stay up with what's going on with my tanks. Very nicely uh, concealed in that door. Now, if you come in here, as you can see, I have the dinette to the left. And this slide goes from right here all the way down to there. That's all slide. I have the dinette, which has storage under both sides. These trays came with it. Plenty of storage under both sides. Okay. I have two recliners. Turn on some lights in here. I have two recliners that are heated and they vibrate and they are very comfortable. I have storage above and I also have lights under each recliner that light up for night lights. Very nice. If you come around to here, here's the couch. Now the couch folds out to a queen size bed. It's very comfortable. My grandson has stayed with me a few times and he enjoys it. I have storage up there. And if you come over here, there's a light switch. And that controls the lights under the couch for another night light. Very good. Now, Jayco's are not top of the line. They're middle of the road. See that strip down there? That's a piece of trim. And that piece of trim came off of right over here. I have to, I have to fix it. I have to put it back on there. The windows on the two sides slide up and the one in the back slides out. I have more storage above. Come over here, this is the slide for the living room. There's the TV. I have storage on both sides. And I have a nice fireplace that is a very good heater. Heats the place up very, very nice. It's been kind of cool here a few nights and it heats it up well. There's the sound system and it goes through the speakers in the ceiling. There's two of them. And it also goes to the speakers out in the awning. I put these lights up here because I enjoy them. Adds kind of ambiance to it. Let's turn over here and they flash. Let me turn off this LED light. It's so bright. Okay, and they flash, which is really nice. And that slide goes from there to there and it comes in. I have storage down there. Refrigerator, freezer. And you can see from that freezer that it's leaking air. I don't know why. And Jayco is not real forthcoming with information. The refrigerator is nice and big. Plenty of room in there. You can see I've been to the store in a while. Come over here, I have a microwave. There's storage to the side of that. Then there's a three burner cooktop and an oven. More storage there. Underneath there, that's the water pump and the hot water heater. And then below is the heater. Uh, I've got the covers off because I had a leak I had to fix. Again, Jayco's are good, but they're not top of the line. I have all the accoutrements on the I got my toaster, coffee maker, water purifier, all the stuff on there. There's more storage under the sink, as you can see. And also, there's a nice storage unit here. And this holds all my dry goods. And it has a countertop here that you can use for serving or whatever you like. But it's round and it stores really nice. More storage up there. Have a nice skylight. And the air conditioner is ducted. You can see there's ducts throughout the, throughout the coach. We come back here, there's the fuse block where the fuses are. There's more storage there. 
Okay, we come back here, and here's the bathroom. Now, the bathroom's typical bathroom toilet. I have storage there and storage there. The shower's plenty big enough for me. I'm six foot and 240, and I fit just fine. There's not much bathroom counter space, though, as you can see. But what I did was I took my razor shaver and I cut a hole and ran the wire through it so it's inside so it doesn't take up counter space. I have this night, nice blue night light that works pretty well. There's a skylight in here. I don't run out of hot water. I can take a 20, 25 minute shower and not run out of hot water. But as you can see, bathroom is typical. It's a porcelain toilet, works very well. Shut this door and let's go into the bedroom. And here's the bedroom, king size bed. This is the other slide, it goes from there to there. And when it comes in, you can't get to that cabinet. So you have to make sure you got out any clothes you need. And as you can see, there's a depression here. It's a king size bed, but I got a queen size topper on it, which works for me because I sleep on that side, so it's not a problem. And if you look here, hey, peace out. If you look here, I have two big closets, both slide, plenty of storage in there. I have a big screen TV in here too. You can see that. There's plenty of cabinet space in here. Cabinet space there. Now that's where the lower cabinet, let me turn this light on so you can see it. The lower cabinet is where you would put the washer dryer combo if you wanted to, but I don't need it. So I left the shelves in and now that's closed storage for me, see? And the same with up top, this is just more closed storage. There's a lot of storage in this unit. This Jayco has a lot of storage. All right, so let's walk around here. Got more storage above the bed. There's storage under the bed. I showed you that outside. Showed you the, the TV. And that's pretty much it. That's a tour of my Jayco J Flight 34 RSBS. This is my humble abode. This is where I live. I take it around to different campgrounds. I've stayed in ones from $300 a night to $500, I mean $300 a month to $500 a month. And they're real nice. Complete water hookup. All the all the comforts of home. Now, when this is all compressed to travel, when it's slid in, you can't go past here because that slide comes over and blocks this doorway here. So you can't go in the living area with slides in. And I already told you in the bedroom, it blocks that cabinet. So really, the only thing you can do when you're towing it is go to the bathroom. That's the only thing you can get to. All right, so that's it. I hope everybody enjoyed the tour. Uh, remember, be good to yourself, be good to each other. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll do more, uh, more videos here directly. And I wish everybody a good night, and I'll talk to you soon.